everybody, and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers on this very, very half sunny, half wet day. Right, today, what I'm going to be doing is putting a hookup point on the side of the traffic. Now, in a bit of a rush, I started it last night and totally forgot to film it, but I got this far. It doesn't look pretty. So, I started to drill it with a hole saw. Now, it's a big old beast that's got to go in there. It's that. But also, something else I forgot to do before putting this on is I forgot to put that on before I insulated and vapor buried inside. Totally forgot that. So that's hint, hence why that's going on today. I've cut a hole in the vapor barrier and pulled the insulation out inside, or pulled some of it out, but I've got to pull more out. Um, the reason it's left like that is because the hole saw I tried to cut the hole with had a blunt drill bit on it. So I drilled a pilot hole and then put the hole saw in and realized that the hole saw was a load of pants. Let me show you what I mean. Right, so this is the hole saw set that I've got. I've got three, I've got this, and I've got a decent Bosch set, but I didn't have one big enough. So I decided to use this. But I can tell you something, if you look closely, the teeth are actually absolutely flattened by the body of the vehicle. It's because it's one of those cheap ones. So in the future, I'm gonna go and buy myself um, another quick release Bosch hole saw to do these hookup points. But that was me rushing, but what we're gonna to do today is get the body saw out. Um, I was gonna use the nibbler, but do you know what? It's only a small hole, so the body saw's fine. We're gonna see if that, the saw will go in that hole. If not, we'll have to drill the hole a little bit bigger to get the saw in. And then we're gonna cut the hole out. Um, again, I'm going to draw around it to make sure that we've got the right size. And fit the hookup point. We bought the cable so we can feed the cable into the van, seal up around the vapour barrier and put it back to how it should be. See, it's a pretty good idea to make a plan when you do these things. I didn't have much of a plan for this. I just write a list on the board in my office. And one, this is one of the things that got overlooked because this van's got to be done quite quickly. Well, anyway, less of that. Let's get on with it. Let's cut the hole out. Let's fit it in and let's show you the process of doing it. As usual, before we start, Costa Coffee. Ah, yeah, that's better. I suppose we're to get on with this, really, aren't we? Really? Hey, really? How many more times are we going to say really? Really? <laughs> battery right out on the camera nicely in the hole and that's where I wanted that placed it fits absolutely perfect so what I'm going to do now is go around with the the air finger file So what I've got to do now, I'm going to clean this panel up a little bit. A bit of alcohol spray. It needs sanitising. Only joking. Did you get any dirt off around here? Scuff the metal up there a little bit on there. So we need to paint those edges. Still wet. I 
think we're gonna have to let that dry for a little while on its own. I'm about to get on with something that you might already have seen by now, and that's the carpeting. Right, so what we've got to do now is wire this up. So now we're ready, now this is dry, to put the hookup point in the van. And we now have the cable on here as well, as you've just seen me fit it to the hookup point, we feed it into the van. A lot of people have been putting the hookup points in these quarter panels down here. I don't like that idea. Not at all. That's why I've got opted to mount it there. Um, on here, on this unit, has got counter countersunk holes. But I don't have any countersunk cell tappers. So we're going to be using pan heads. It doesn't really matter. I need to make sure that's straight. with that so we open it up now we need to mark the four holes typical the pen doesn't reach just my luck The other option is a screwdriver and we scratch mark the holes. Put it back out and there's the four marks. Now I'm going to be using eight by inch and a quarter pan head screws. The stainless steel, so I'll be drilling a three mil pilot hole to put that through.
Right, I will show you around the edge of these hookup points, as there are most any that attach the body, there's a foam gasket. Already pre stuck on there. But to be honest with you, I do trust them, don't get me wrong. But I don't want to go six months, 12 months down the line. And the custom come back with the vehicle and turn around and say to me, there's a leak in the van, all the insulation's wet, just because of this foam gasket. So to back this up, I'm gonna put a bead, a Sikaflex around that, just to be doubly sure that they get no leaks. It's literally just a thin bead. Just enough so it gives that extra protection. And we all like protection, especially the guy who had this van. If you watch one of my other videos, when I was stripping this vehicle out, I found something very, very interesting. And it falls under the lines of protection as well. So if you haven't seen that video, and you want to watch it, I'm going to leave a card up above. Click on that and have a look for yourself. So with this van, I think it's all about protection. And it was quite funny, so skip over to another look, see what you think. Right, so there we go. Let's bring you over and have a proper look. So there's a full thin bead of clear Sikaflex around that. That's the thing with this channel, you're gonna get all real life stuff. Whether I make a cock up or not. And I do, we all do. Problem is, and I'm not gonna name anybody or any YouTubers, there are a lot out there that make out this stuff is perfect and it always goes first time and it always works perfectly and we all make mistakes. And um, again, I'm not naming anybody. I've just watched videos where the videos look too perfect. And they are too perfect. But hopefully you lot watching this like real life stuff. That's what this is. Real life stuff. Now let's tell me. Go on, the holes are in the wrong place. It's like stupid. That's quite scary. They all line up. And I know I'm using a screwdriver and not a drill driver because I don't want to crack the plastic. On the housing. Because now my luck, that's exactly what would happen to me. And if I'm totally honest, things like that happened, have happened to me. So you learn by your mistakes. Or so they say. That one's not going in.
So there you go. That's how you fit an electric hookup on your van. If you've got any questions, any comments, or any views on this, please leave them below. But also you notice we've gone for a dark grey on here. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah, do you know the truth? It wasn't for this vehicle at all. Because this one's got to be done quite quickly, we've been robbing bits, that's meant, for the craft conversion. But we will be replacing them, and they will be put on the buster as, as planned. It's just the fact that we got these in stock, so we're gonna use them. And uh, yeah, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment. And if you like what you've seen today, and you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Like I said back in the video, and I will leave it on the end of this video, when I stripped it out, the story behind the protection thing. Have a look for yourself. Click on it, have a look. So, that, that's me done with this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.